China is known for its tech. And my colleague Gaurav Savant is in Tianjin, where he is getting us all the lowdown of the tech that China is displaying at SEO. Take a look. At the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Media Center, SEO Summit Media Center here in Tianjin, the center of attraction truly is Sao Hyo, a robot. Uh, the use of artificial intelligence and uh, robot technology, something that uh, China has been showcasing to the world. And uh, you ask uh, uh, Sao Hyo a question, uh, she responds to your questions. Uh, uh, she speaks as of now in three languages, uh, English, Russian, and of course, Chinese. So uh, let me ask a question. Uh, Sao Hyo, how are you? I'm functioning optimally. Thank I'm functioning. You I'm functioning Next optimally. Thank you. Currently operating at full capacity to assist you. Okay, so. Be of service today. So, Sauha, tell me uh, what happened in the meeting between Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Chinese President Xi Jinping. As an AI assist. Okay, so there are some questions in China that are not answered, not even by robots. So uh, what can I ask you? Okay, um, how was the meeting? Uh, what, are, what do we expect from uh, the SCO summit? The Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit serves as an important platform for member states to discuss regional cooperation security, and economic development. While specific meeting details aren't publicly available until officially released, okay. we can expect discussions on enhancing multilateral cooperation. Fair enough. Challenges, and promoting economic initiatives among member nations. So, how are India-China relations moving forward? silence stunned silence and perhaps when you talk about artificial intelligence because a lot depends on what's fed into the system and what comes out of the system but uh, if i say um ilu pingan what does ilu pingan mean the term ilu pingan doesn't appear to be a standard technical or common phrase in english Okay, so that. Okay, so. Thank you very much. Uh, so, when it comes to artificial intelligence, uh, the robot, very interesting. Some of the answers in China, the questions are best not asked. Gaurav Savant in Tianjin, China, for India today. At the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, right here at the Media Center, the effort is to show Chinese technology. And come closer, let me show you uh, what these robots are all about. Uh, these are packets and this robot makes that distinction which packet has to go there. With me is Mia or Molame. Mia, hi. Uh, hi. What can you tell us? What does this robot do? Uh, this one, this robot is from Tianjin Personnel Company's uh, humanoid robot. Its name is Tora One, and its major function is, as you see, it can just pick the package and uh, categorize them. You know, uh, just put them into different source uh, categories based on their colors. And as you can see over the baskets over there, it have black, uh, black packages with the black ones and the white with the white ones. Yeah. So that, this is just one of the many technologies on display. So watch this. Uh, it has the camera there. It notices the package. It has fingers that makes the distinction and drops it in different uh, categories uh, depending on the color of the package. Uh, they can also make that distinction according to weight. So automation is the key that they're trying to show. What is also very interesting and come closer, let me try and show you this. This is a drone recharger and it's all about size scale, uh, and, and uh, scale. Uh, yeah. How many drones? Uh, this is a drone charger, am I right? Yes, yes, yes. It's not only just a drone charger. It can just 
uh, you know, just let the drone up and just put it down and some of that. So it's, yeah. So it's automation. Um, in the civil, uh, it, it, has a, it has a role. In mi uh, military, it can have a role. What role does it have? So this is a machine that not only charges the drone, it can replace a, a faulty part and it can launch a drone. And uh, apparently more than 50 drones, one after the other, it has the capability of uh, recharging, repairing and launching. Uh, the number of drones it can uh, repair and launch. Uh, the number of drones is, uh, this one I need to ask my All right. technician so, right now. Yeah. Perfect. So when I was speaking to one of the technicians, uh, they were telling me about the size, scale and speed with which uh, these robotic arms, uh, they work. And, and just imagine, so this drone has a camera here. It's a quadcopter. Uh, it can be used uh, for surveillance. It can also, uh, in a different context, have uh, other uses. So this is where their technology comes. Another uh, piece of equipment that is on display here is something that would ultimately replace a human. Uh, this is a charger, a battery charger uh, in an electronic vehicle. What does it do? So you bring your car, you don't even have to spend time in putting the charger. This uh, arm does it on its own, a robotic arm. So this is how China is displaying some of these robots and these youngsters are explaining this. Now, what is their effort? The effort is to show the size, the scale uh, at which all these technologies are coming into China, also artificial intelligence. Gaurav Savant in Tianjin, China for India Today. This is the next generation of technology. This is an immersive technology experience. So watch this screen and watch this equipment around me. This gives you a sense of what's happening around. So the next time you watch a movie, it may just be like this in a giant movie theater where the theater is also on the floor. This will show you the entire experience of the movie that you're watching. And it's not just sight, it's also the smell. So every sensory power is being used here. Uh, so for example, if there's a fragrant tree uh, or there are flowers, there'll be a fragrance of trees and flowers just behind. Uh, you know, you see the trees there and you smell that fragrance here. That's the experience. And let me show it to you uh, how this immersive technology works. So you have, like in a movie theater, chairs like this. So I'm sitting here and watching this movie. Now when I watch these images, it's all over. I get a sense of height here. I can see the birds, they're flying around me and then they soar and it's all around me, this immersive experience. Watch this. It's as if these images transport you there. From artificial intelligence to the sensory power. All of that is being utilized here. And this is what China is showcasing. Uh, with me is a, a volunteer here at this stall in Changling Yu. Uh, explain to me what this experience is. Uh, you uh, you said, mean this video? Uh, we, actually, we have two video, and this one is uh, means the wings of peace, uh, shared destiny, and we can see this have many uh, different uh, SEO members country, and they are very famous landscapes in here, and uh, this uh, in here you can see the uh, 3D effects. Yes, it's very uh, directly to feel the like the uh, you, you can see and you can smell it, uh, touching uh, all this in one. Yes. So it's the it's the use of all your senses and sensory power. It's not just uh, see it; you can also smell it and touch it. It almost feels as if you're soaring like the people there. That's Kremlin, Moscow in winters. Does that make you feel cold? Well, that's the impression. Of course, the air conditioning here hasn't come on to make you feel cold or to feel that there is a whale right behind you. But I am told uh, their effort is that next time you see a horse, you can smell the horse. When you see a whale and there's a splash, 
of water, there'll be a splash of water uh, on your face. So that is how immersive they intend to make this technology. Gaurav Savant in Tianjin, China for India Today.